Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I've been having problems with my microphone. Sounds like I've been talking into a plastic cup. I think I got it fixed. Uh, yeah, I've been working on it all day and yesterday. There was a magnitude 2.6 earthquake up there by Cobb Mountain, um, Lake County, California. Up over here we have Clear Lake. And then down over here we got uh, Lake Berryessa. This earthquake was part of the Berryessa Fault, also, which I don't have drawn out, the Huntington Fault, and also the Green Valley Fault. I don't show it connected, but it goes all the way down to the San Francisco Bay Area, and they are all considered the same fault, even though they don't look like they're adjoining, but they are. And this is a right lateral fault, this uh, Berryessa Fault meaning everything turns or moves to the right. In this case, kind of south. Here's the moment tensor ball. You can see how it moves south. 13 people said they did feel this earthquake. It was shallow, only about 3.6 miles below sea level. There's the town of Middleton. I used to live up there in that area years ago, also known as the geysers. So USGS said it was an intensity level of three meaning it was felt noticeably indoors, but not always recognized as an earthquake. Well, they get so many of them up there. Um, standing autos might have been rocking slightly. Vibration like a passing truck. Over here on the right is what it felt like to those that did report it, maybe a 2.5 up to a 3. So looking at the reports that USGS does have listed, it was felt as far as Oakland, California. Down there in the Bay Area. Um, I can't read a name there. On the east side. Let's see. Davis. Okay. Um, I hate it when they don't put names. But we got the Santa Rosa area. And the Napa area over here. I wonder if I can zoom in more. Alright. Pope Valley. And what else can I try and see here? Napa. That might be the road to Napa. I can't tell. I'll come down a little bit so you can get an idea. It looks like there's been two aftershocks, a magnitude 1.4, 3.5 miles in depth, and a 1.6, uh, 3.9 miles in depth. A little bit deeper. So, did you feel this earthquake up there? If so, please put your comments down below. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'm so happy to get my microphone working right. Always be prepared for a disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you.